Hello, my beautiful people. Nina here with a shopaholic treasure. <laughs> so I have another thrifting haul for you guys. Nothing spectacular, just a small thrifting haul. 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 So let's get started. <laughs> So this I probably shouldn't have picked up, but like I told y'all, my brain is like, when I see certain brands, they be like, ding, 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 no matter what it looks like. You know what I'm saying? And I need to stop doing that because I'm wasting money. And even though it's at, you know, I don't pay much for it, it's still a waste of money if it's not going to sell. So anywho, this is Lily Pulitzer, which I found a few times and sewed some things. But this is a dress, right? Like a strapless dress, which that's cool and all. Somebody a rocket. But I don't like how the hem, like here and down here, is rolled up. And I even tried to iron it out and it's not staying away. And I don't like that. But I'll see how it goes. Somebody might work it. Somebody might work it. Somebody might work 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 it. Okay. Uh then I have the St. James. I'm not sure if I showed this in my last haul. Now I have a problem with organization. So sometimes some my light is about to go out. So sometimes my um things get mixed up because I need to become more organized. But I'm a work in progress. You know what I'm saying? Nothing happens overnight. I'm going to punch this light. Like it's either go out or stay in. It's been doing this forever. But anyway, this is St. James, which I think I did. I'm sorry if I, this is a repeat. But I went through my video and I didn't see it. So I was like, let me just throw it in. So I looked up St. James and they go for like $80 or so. Which again... This isn't the look that I really want to go for in my closet for Poshmark. So yeah, this is just a plain little throw on top. It doesn't really match my closet anymore, but whatever. And this is Elsa Manda, which I've never heard of before. And I Googled it. Did I Google it? I don't remember if I Googled it or looked it up on Poshmark. But either way, it's made in Italy. Did you see that? Made in Italy. You pretty much can't go wrong with things made in Italy. You know what I'm saying? So great quality. It's nice and soft. It's nice and soft. It's nice, 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 nice and soft. Uh, so we'll see how that does. And then these Liverpool jeans, which I've also never heard of. Liverpool Jean Company. And then in the inside of this, it says... Let it be, let it be, whisper words of wisdom, let it be. And it says, let it be John Lennon and Paul McCartney. So I figured that these may sell for a little something, something. I meant to look them up to see. Because, you know, the resale price and what they actually cost, the, the resale price is different from the retail price. So these could possibly sell for... $150 but then online they might not even be selling for $15 you know what I'm saying so you just gotta look into that be aware of that um here you have a lululemon piece a lululemon and this is uh, I have a hard time finding out the names of lululemon pieces this is a size 12 and um see I don't know what this is called but every time I find a little lemon like I get it but then it really has doesn't really sell for me like sometimes it does because most of the time it's just sitting like I have a few things it's just chilling and I don't know if they're older pieces I'm not really hip I'm hip to the name but I'm not hip to the different styles and all that like I know my shorts and the leggings sell but the tops usually sit forever but I'll have me some good workout pieces when I um go back to the gym. Go back to the gym. So here we have a St. John. I'd be so excited when I found St. John. My I found a blazer before. Two blazers, actually. 
and I sold the one for a hundred dollars. That's when I first got started and I just heard of the name. And the other one I sold for like 150. I was so excited. I just couldn't hide it. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I'm about to lose control and I think I like it. So yeah, I found this St. John. So I'm not sure how much I'm gonna list this for, but they don't know. A lot of thrift store employees and stuff don't know what this stuff is and how much it really costs. So they just, you know, throw it up on something for a dollar. Although I think I got this from the bins but like they just throw it up there for a dollar or whatever and i'm like thank you thank you because you don't know how much i'm about to get up off of this <laughs> uh, i found another lily pulitzer dress this is strapless has the little former things in the back so it doesn't like slide down and this is the zipper and then it has this which i think is really cool this thing right here and that's just actually my size it's a little stiff I don't like stuff like this though because it's really weird if my if my clothes aren't fitted then it's like my body just disappears it's really weird because I'm so tiny I'm not tiny like I'm tall but I'm slim so if I don't have on the right clothes my body will just disappear on me and I know this I probably wouldn't have no kind of shape in this so but it's my size though Oh, let's see. Oh, I found another St. John's piece. This is St. John Basics, which is probably like slightly cheaper, but it's still expensive. I looked up St. John. If you go to stjohn.com, the clothing website, you would lose your mind of how much like sweaters and shirts. Like they, I seen a shirt for $1,200. One shirt for $1,200? My entire 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 wardrobe don't even cost twelve hundred dollars like and you want me to buy a shirt for twelve hundred i don't care how much money i made i think i would always be frugal because the thing is like once you spend your money on that stuff it's gone like i would only spend my money on that much money on something if i'm gonna get a bigger return into something but most people don't think like that they just think like mm, i want that gucci purse I want that Gucci purse. I want that Fendi bag. I want that Fendi bag. <laughs> no, I don't want that. I want the money that it costs to be in my bank account like a hundred times over. You know what I'm saying? Anywho, and then I have this anthropology. I was like, somebody played me on. I was like, cause you know, anthropology is the umbrella and there's a bunch of branches underneath the anthropology brand or whatever and so i was like does anybody know what this tag is because sometimes they have tags that don't have names on them or whatever and so i put it on the fa in a facebook group and someone was like uh duh anthropology and i'm like well how am i supposed to know that how am i supposed to know? i thought it was like green dot or something but it does say anthropology by anthropology but i wasn't sure so i just didn't want to put the wrong thing but anyway this is like a long cardigan nice and toasty and open and i was like it's extra small let me see let me see let me oh it fit them arms you know how hard it is for me to find something to fit my arms i might be wearing this to church tomorrow this shirt too shoot do this match <laughs> i can't really dress like i love to buy and sell things but i can't dress at all but this is cute though. This is cute though. This is, this is, this is cute though. Okay. <laughs> and last but certainly not least, my friends, we have this spectacular, I really like this shirt. St. John, can you believe I found all these St. John's? Like when I first, I only found St. John four times maybe before this and then i found three within like the same week and two was at the same store they was just chilling and i get all excited this one i think is a newer tag the yellow but i thought this detail I mean, this zipper on the shoulder i thought that was really cute but i don't think i could fit this one like the sleeves probably wouldn't be long enough and then it has these side slits side slits on the side slits slits on the side slits on the side slits Slits on the side. Yeah, I thought that was cute. But you know what, folks? That is all from my 
teeny tiny oh i didn't know i had stuff on it i'm sorry just y'all probably couldn't see that anyway guys that is all for my tiny little haul i wanted to introduce you to my do what you love picture and my love picture which there's a definition it says chair cherish okay love loved loving one cherish two an intense feeling of deep affection um synonyms deep affection fondness tenderness warmth intimacy attachment three to take pleasure in four to embrace or kiss five to need or require greatly benefit so just remember to always do what you love okay do what you love do what makes you happy and the world will be much better place <laughs> all right guys i'll see you soon bye